Hello and welcome to the Orthodox View, where we discuss latest religious news from an Orthodox Christian perspective. I am its host, Philip Champion. In the Turkish province of Edirne, the Byzantine Church of Hagia Sophia was converted into a mosque after restoration. The Church of Hagia Sophia of Ainos is a 12th century Byzantine building, which in 1456 was turned into a mosque by the Ottoman Sultan Mehmed II, the conqueror of Constantinople. The building was destroyed by an earthquake back in 1965 and has not been used for religious purposes ever since. However, 56 years later, it became a mosque again after six years of restoration. This is the fourth Hagia Sophia, which was built originally as a Christian church, but was then converted into a prayer house for Muslims after the Ottoman conquest. The other three sites are located in Trebzon, Iznik, and of course, Istanbul. Vasily Lomachenko, a two-time Olympic medalist and world champion in three weight categories, gave his father and coach Anatoly Lomachenko a unique gift a pectoral cross made from two of his Olympic gold medals. Being 33 years old, Vasily Lomachenko won gold at the 2008 and 2012 Olympic Games in Beijing and London. He made his professional debut in 2013 and won world titles in three weight categories, but has not yet reached his main goal, the title of undisputed world champion. A series about the real life of a priest would help the general public to better understand the church. This opinion was expressed by the chairman of the Moscow Patriarchate's Department for External Church Relations, Metropolitan Hilarion of Volokolamsk, in an interview on the Russian TV channel Rasia24. The hierarch noted that such a series would arouse interest in society, since little is known about the life of clergy. At the same time, Vladik Hilarion noted that he was ready to take part in the creation of such a film. In particular, he said the following. It would be interesting to create a series about the life of the Russian Orthodox Church, because the life of the Church remains a closed or even taboo topic for many. Many do not know how priests live and what they do. Of course, I would prefer that the series about the life of the Russian Orthodox Church would not concern the Patriarch, members of the Holy Synod, or in general what is called the official church, but that the real life of a priest would be shown in it. Today there is a large number of films and TV series dedicated to the Catholic Church. However, many of them purposefully criticize the church and distort the images of the clergy. In his traditional Christmas address called Urbi et Orbi, City and Peace, Pope Francis called on the world community to engage in dialogue to resolve conflicts, including in Ukraine. Here are the words of his prayer. Lord, be light and support for those who believe and work, even going against the tide, in favor of meeting and dialogue, and do not let the metastases of gangrenous conflict spread throughout Ukraine. Last year, due to the anti-COVID restrictions, the papal address was broadcast on television and on the internet, and the pontiff himself was not, as is customary, on the balcony of the cathedral, but in the blessing hall of the Apostolic Palace. This year, the Pope returned to the tradition and addressed the faithful from the balcony of St. Peter's. The local Orthodox Church in the Filipino village of Tagatay became a focal point of Christmas cheer for dozens of children and poor residents this year. 80% of the Filipino population identifies as Roman Catholic and celebrates the Feast of the Nativity of the Lord on December 25th. On this day, the Department for Charity and Social Ministry of the Russian Church's Diocese of the Philippines in Vietnam organized a Christmas cafe at Christ the Savior Church on the island of Luzon. The state offers several days off leading up to Christmas, during which the people have the opportunity to visit various churches. All those who visited Christ the Savior on Christmas received a gift and a piece of festive cheer and love. Well, this is all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time on the Orthodox View.